All right, we made it to Friday, folks. The story with the most calls into the hotline this week, FC Cincinnati's new stadium and the potential displacement of people in a residential building recently bought by the football club. Putting that foosball park down there in the West End, making all them people that have lived there for years move out of their home and go someplace else. Bull. I'm really upset about the displacement of the people in the West End regarding this new stadium. I really think that if you don't provide for these people that you're stepping on and displacing, the whole thing will be cursed and we'll never win a game. I feel that it's wrong that people should have to move from downtown out of their home just so they can build this uh, stupid little FC thing. I said uh, way back a long time ago that the people in the West End would be put out. It's so sad when you live somewhere all your life and the city can just come along and say, get out. Cincinnati, we are the people who vote you in and you treat us like chopped liver. I think it's a shame. I think it's selfish. But, again, they don't care. All it is, it's about money. You know, throw everybody else away. The city of Cincinnati and Hamilton County commissioners should have known that to begin with. It looks like uh, a bunch of land-grabbing, money-shuffling stuff for the rich. I was uh, calling about all the hoopla they got going on trying to build that stadium in the West End. They would have been better off if they left it in Oakley where they had a wide open space and have to change nothing. It's time for a Feedback Friday lightning round. For one, they could rehab the current location for more than $20 million. Or they could relocate to the old permit building on Central Parkway for more than $9 million. What you ought to do with the money, instead of building new police stations, of which you have adequate ones now, is to put the money in the roads. The roads in Cincinnati are in terrible condition. The CDC reported 71 new cases of the measles in the United States, bringing the total cases now this year alone to 626. Where are these foolish people that consider themselves good parents come from? It just amazes me how idiotic most of this generation in this world is getting these days. Man, they need to get a grip. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Craig McKee. And I'm Kristen Hartman. What's the point of holding on to that stupid laptop when you're standing in front of the screen doing a report? You're not using it, so don't have it. That is so stupid. Ma'am, thank you so much for the call. The tablet, by the way, that we hold on during the newscast actually replaced the paper scripts we used for years. With the switch, some years ago, we've saved hundreds of thousands of sheets of paper becoming more earth-friendly here at 9 on your side. By the way, if you ever have an opinion on a story throughout the week, call the hotline at 513-852-4998.